Like so, you know, growing up, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we all grew up in the same type of community. Yeah. Same type of neighborhood. I'm from Daytona Beach, but I grew up in the same type of neighborhood. Every, everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody else. Yeah. So growing up, uh, even to even to this day, you know, uh, I, I see that you know, man who is not. I'm, I'm not saying you have to be rich. Mm -hmm. A lot of people took that old. They took that and you got to be rich. Right. But I'm not saying you have to be rich. You just have to have the resources to be able to take care of a family. Right. If you don't have the resources to take care of a family, in my opinion, you shouldn't be having sex because that's what brings life in the world. Because I've seen too many times, even to this day, we have young men having sex. They don't even have a job. Right. Now, granted, have I did it? Yes. You know, but just because I've done it, that, that, that doesn't mean the cycle should continue. Right. At some point, we have to say, okay, just because, I can't say just because I did something in the past, mm -hmm. it's okay for the future. I mean, I've, I've had my best sex when I was broke. I'm going to take this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some, 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 some about not having anything, they want to go get everything, right? Oh, I got you. Oh, <laughs> all, you do, all you got. All you got. I mean, not <laughs> Hey, but I heard you say young men. So is that only went men? It, it doesn't go. To, I was talking more for the men because let's just be real. Yeah, most women you, don't. You could you could be, be a man that's beat, successful, man. Among. You could be a man that's successful, got her stuff together, and a woman she doesn't have a brain. She doesn't have to bring a penny to the table. As long like I'm the type of man, I don't really I don't look for a woman for finance. I do. I look for <laughs> <laughs> I look for a woman. <laughs> I love for a woman for the, the motherly qualities. Is she a good woman? Will she be a good mother? Will she be a good wife? Those are attributes I look for. So what I look for, that's just me. Because mm -hmm. so man, so you're saying the man gotta have some money to have sex, but women don't gotta have nothing. They just gotta be able to be. They just mother. gotta be able to <laughs> for me, have sex. No, no, not oh, have oh, sex. Oh, but, <laughs> like I said, my quality. I look for a woman. Can she be a good mother? Okay. A good wife, okay. and can she take care of my house and responsibilities on the roof? I will provide the house. And, and, but fuck, I, and fuck good. Yes, so. absolutely. <laughs> I, I need you. I will provide the house, but I'm going to need you to take care inside the house that I provided you with. So, so she got to be able to take care of a household too. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, so it does apply to them then. But not necessarily on a financial standpoint. Well, I mean, you didn't say financial either. You just said that they not don't have the resources. To take care of a household. Yeah, the re I would that would be the same for a woman. That's your that's the resources you require for your woman. Yeah, resource. Yeah, that's what, what I was, when I was. I'm talking about financial resources. But yes, we both have we both have different resources we have to bring to the table. Like you know, men. So, so pretty broke. much, a woman can be broke though. So a man gotta have money, but a woman can she? It's okay if she's broke. All depends on the man. All depends on it's not it's not the same for every man. All depends on. Each man at what level, at which level he is at life. Because every man. I like, think ideally, man, maybe both should be ready to take care of a household. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who's taking the girls to prom. Parents, eyebrow. All right, man, peace, peace, peace. The parents? The parents? They don't want some pay for all, all of them. So that's what she's going to be dancing with at the prom, my parents? Uh, she ain't going to be dancing with but who wants to pay for that tuxedo? I don't know who paid for who it. Who paid for the runner car? I don't know who paid for it. But what I'm saying, what the, what I'm saying is, She's a when, she, when she when she when she goes to prom, she mm -hmm. had typically speaking, they have a date, right? Yeah. And that date is somebody she goes to school with, right? Yeah. They ain't ready to take care of no family. No, they're not. I'm just saying, I I'm not against what you're saying, right? But I'm just saying, my my the way my the way I work, I'm like, okay, so what's next? So 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 let's say that that is the thing. So now men are not. I believe a man. It's not. He's not doing. I know. It. I know that's not practical. But I, I believe a man should work on himself, get himself together. Because as a, as, a, as a brother I work with, he told me something when I first first got hired on. I never forget. He mm -hmm. said, "You'll never lose women chasing money, but you'll lose money yeah, chasing, chasing women." women. Right. It stuck me like that. But that shit sounds good, but it ain't cool. It really ain't, man. It, I, I, I know. I know plenty of men. Who lost their woman because they was chasing money? I ain't saying you can't, but I'm just saying stuff with me. And I lost, I blew, I blew, I messed up over a lot of money trying to, in my younger days, mm -hmm. chasing women. Right. When 
But when I started more focused on getting my stuff together, mm -hmm. get my money right, get my finances together, yeah, the, older, the, older, older. the older I got, it, it, it was, I don't want to seem cocky, but it was like almost effortless. Yeah. So, yeah, let me, let's see, so that, let's see that, that comes with growth and maturity, though. Yes, ma'am. Grace, way back, let go. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Grace. Grace. Speak up. Wait, hold on, hold on, speak up. I'm sorry, Grace. I am speaking up. Okay. Aren't I? Said she might have to go on bed rest. You know, high risk press. Yeah. He's like, I don't know. He said, it's going to be kind of tight for me. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your household, but I said, why did you buy a house right. when you needed two incomes? Right. I said, as a man, mm -hmm. you should have been like, you should have bought a house that you can, your lady can pay bills. I said, it's nothing wrong with your lady paying bills. Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't need you shouldn't need her money, right? Because I said now she goes on bed rest and it's just you. How you gonna cover? It? Right. So, so basically, you say if, if you broke, just say that. Real men. But I ain't gonna say they don't work because they do work a lot, but they don't they don't work for somebody. They work for the family. Yeah, because that's what real men do. They take care of the house. That's it. So if something goes But these brothers are, these, <laughs> these guys are making six figures. These guys are making six figures a year and they're at work a lot. So their wives are working just as hard as they are. So y'all so both of y'all are the saying, home. both of y'all saying is if you don't make six figures, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't put words in my mouth. You see how he tries to don't put words in my mouth. I know, I know, I know. I ain't saying logic, but we know that that shit's never gonna happen. Yeah, but that's so. That's that's when I get the logic. That's the that's the the whole this whole conversation is a combination of understanding the balance between the masculine and the feminine. So like, it's great to have logic, but you still need an emotional compass. So. What you're describing, that's great. That's awesome. 
that a lot of people would be like, oh man, my granddad, he took care of the family and my my grandmom stay home. Yeah, and that that cost him three hundred seventy six dollars for the month. <laughs> it's it's, a di it's different. Like so, so what you just described is like so you had a you had a friend who's making good money. His wife is making good money. They got a nice house. That's the that's the American dream. I thought his wife got pregnant and the doctor said, hey man, she gonna have to be on bed rest. If she's making that kind of money, then she probably has some kind of like fail safe in place. But that's another story. I'm just yeah, your story. Okay. That's your story. I don't know. But um, so on the flip side, if you being a firefighter, y'all ran into a house, he got dismembered, he loses left arm, he waiting for a check, but now they depending on her paycheck. And so she's paying all the bills until everything gets figured out. But well, by your scenario, if she don't have a job, she get dismembered, y'all screwed. Like my art was uh, refine, you gotta but, refine it. But hold on, let me let me let me let me <laughs> now let me. she gotta sell something. Yeah, so I, <laughs> but and, and, hey man, but, but that's what she here for to make it happen, you know? And that's what she offered. But anyway, but but <laughs> that's her resource. That's what you said. That's what you said. That's what you said. The times we and I a two bedroom apartment is two thousand dollars. Bro, it's like it's so like yeah, so, yeah. so so the point is we tr we try to like we try to incorporate these ideas that are from a time where it, a man was the man and a woman was his property. See, it's I'm also sure. someone else's idea. Yeah, so, so we like, didn't run things yeah, we, when we they had these ideologies. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We don't. They didn't really care. You don't operate right. like that. If, if you also. if you if you marry somebody now, you're marrying a partner. So granted, her role in that house may not to be bring financial income, but at the same time, for the most for the majority of Americans. And throughout the world, people who have, who have a progressive society, they both bring in income or they both bring in something to contribute to their household. So, like, that shit sound good, but the reality is 100 grand ain't 100 grand no more. But you heard what I said. I, I, said, like, I didn't say she didn't have to. I said. I'm, I'm, I'm making good money, but I need another hat. Like, if my girl came home and be like, hey, you got to be the man, then she got to be alone. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, what? I, 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 it's over. It's all on me. It's yeah. over, baby. See, I never said a woman. Me a I never said a woman shouldn't have to work. My my sentiment is, I believe a man. She, we should not need her finances. If I can't, this is just me because I kind of grew up with my, like how you talking about my grandfather. That's how my grandfather was. My grandma worked. But at the same time, she took a lot of time off because she had five kids. Mm -hmm. So she was coming back and forth. So I was because my, my which, grandfather. Which is still work, by the way. Like, I want to be very clear. Oh, yeah. But, uh, raising children is working. Okay. Raising children, that's, that's work. It's major work. So my grandfather, he was more of the traditional guy. Mm -hmm. And that was the man who raised me. Mm -hmm. So it was like, look, you know, you take care of your family. Right. Yeah. Take care of your family. He said, she can work. Mm -hmm. But as a man, you shouldn't be dependent. Off of finances. Mm -hmm. That's what, just how I was raised. What, what 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 year was that? See, I was growing up, so he raised me. So what year is that? Let's say, say around. high school. High school. So let's say I graduated two thousand five. Two thousand five. So let's say that's like around 95, 90, 95 to two thousand five. Yeah. So with inflation right now, from that time with inflation, how much how much would you say you made back then? Oh my, I don't know exactly how much you made back then. He made like thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand. So that thirty-two thousand now is probably sixty-four thousand dollars. Would he be able to still? He was the head custodian at Daytona. Okay, but I'm asking: Would he still be able to do that now in the way this economy is right now? Him no. So, 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 when you basing your template maybe, off of that, because they had a house, they wouldn't rent. I can't, I can't spend maybe. I'm saying, can he or not? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just say that. Okay, so if you basing your template on what he did back then, and you saying, hey. As a man, if you're not able to do that, and we in a place now where inflation has doubled that, the cost of living has tripled. You hear I said inflation has doubled that, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tripled. Yeah. so if you're basing it on that template, that's not a realistic template because we just don't live in those times. So, so like, and 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 and, and what I and what I try not to do, and the older I get, I try to not do it even more, is not speak from a pedestal or a soapbox. Because when you say, "Oh, if you ain't, you can't, you can't afford to take care of you, a, a woman," you got to be fucking, then we would be extinct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of a lot of people aren't able to just live solely off of a man's income right now. Maybe all of America, if we be technical, because yeah. like, man, I mean, 
we sitting up here, but I mean, people think we're like the well off because you got like a house financed, but you ain't pay it off. So you technically don't have the money to even buy the house you live in. Right. Most of us. Yeah. So like, it's kind of a moot statement because most people can't even afford right. the house they live in, so to speak. So like the same house you say you're taking care of, it belongs to the bank. You, right. don't, you don't even have a deed, most people. And Not even everybody. Even, and even most you people. Off, you see that. So yeah, that. so technically, I don't, I don't have enough. I didn't even have enough to get a house. Right. I had to borrow it and I'm working the system. It's the system. Right. Because the, the truth is, no matter how much money you make right now, if for some reason you are unable to generate income for three months, you will be homeless. Yeah, so the majority of the time. So 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 it's it's not to say that it's not to say that you can't hold down the fort, but if you, yeah. but, if, but if you but if you have a partner who her her mindset is he gonna take care of it no matter what, that's a lot of stress to your mental health. It is. Just, that's a lot of stress, bro. Boy, and, stress. And, and 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 it's not to say that we're not capable of doing it because to be in full disclosure, I just had a baby, so I'm so I'm financially I'm taking care of everything. But that, but at the same time, I don't have a a, a partner or somebody who had my child or my partner who thinks like that. Where she like, well, you got it, because we could possibly be doomed if I walk outside today and I sprain my ankle or I break my leg and I have to live on FBLA and and live off a third of what I was making. So it, so it's like it's cool, it's great, but you also have to understand that the the relation the the part the, the marriage or the relationship that we're talking about now is not your grandfather's relationship. We're talking about an actual real life partnership. Now, one of the other things I kind of heard in in your statement, one of the things I heard in your statement was <sighs> teaching. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm to say this properly. I want to say this right. I want to make sure I say this right. That it would be good, and when we're raising boys, to raise them in a way where the thing that they're chasing first is their purpose. Exactly. Right. So you know, rather than chasing women. Right. Right. Because because once because once a man who's chasing his purpose. Um, that's a that's an attractive trait. So you're actually probably going to get more access. But we're also talking about this, mm -hmm. All right? So, um, and I think that's I think that's possible. I don't think it's. I think it's possible, but I'm not sure it's practical. Right. Yeah, it's just it's practical. Not, it's practical. It's not how, common. Do, how, do, how, do we, how do we get a generation of men to teach another generation of men not to chase ass? Yeah. <laughs> and, you definitely, and they watch right. you do it. You got right. a son? Yeah, I have a son. You what, 10? I have a son. Mm -hmm. You have a son? Well, I do. Sure. Yeah, they're probably going right now. Yes. You have a son? You like 12, 13, 10? You have a son? Two. Okay. okay. How old are they? 22 and 8. Okay, so. And we all have we all have some. Right. Let's start, let's start right now. Are we raising our sons? Mm -hmm. Start in the house. Right. We 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 the ones who implement that. Right. Now, if they take it, they don't take it. But it, it starts at home. Right. It starts with us. Right. Because I mean, it start. My grandfather taught me that. I right? guess what I'm teaching my son. Well, even, even though he's only four. Right. So I'm gonna teach him those same that aspects. Right. Because prime example, I'm gonna say my brother. He had twins on him. He already got one, right. all for the same woman. Right. He got twins. I love him. He don't know what he's gonna do. He ain't read the post. He out here fucking. That's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly. That's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. He's gonna come around and find out. Learned it. I love him. That's my brother. But he led with no resources. Yes. Yeah. Ye. Now. Now he. He stressed out. He got a challenge. He like got a challenge. He got a challenge. He got a challenge ahead of him. He got a daughter, but she she one and a half. Uh -huh. And he got twins due on the way. A few months. Might as well go again, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, it matter. Not, 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 what it matter now? <laughs> not, I mean, I mean, don't, don't don't get don't get me wrong. I'm not saying your premise is not. There's, there's, I'm not saying that your premise is wrong. I'm just saying there's a flaw in your thing where you think that. 
it's, it's just not a practical thing that happens in the society or not, it, just in the world. Things to be because you know, bottom line is things are well, things are always being redefined. Yeah. But we're in a time now where the lines are blurred. The lines are blurred on so many fronts right now. It, it's it's just challenging trying to trying to figure it out, right? You can be. It seems like the broke dudes are the best side dudes because that's who they are. Really? Because because when they're we're gonna keep the stable man. Yeah. Cause you know? When you when you stay, when you stable, you gonna run through the other dude. It's it's a, and it's and, it, and that's an interesting thing that that's we, we when you was naming like. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna bring the money home, which which would basically means you're gonna be working hard. And she's gonna be a mother. There's no place in that where you were talking about being a father. And so and so and so, and so if you if you if you working eighty hours to bring the money home, then that means that they're missing that figure at home. So it's a lot easier for you to be a figure at home if somebody is helping you provide the resources. So then, so instead of you working eighty hours, and she working, it, then you could possibly work fifty, and she worked thirty. Yeah, because you can have, you can have, uh, we can have a dad <coughs> at the house, but he ain't in the house. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and so he might as well not be. He might as well not even be. Him. Right. So that that balance, um, and you know, we we asked this question on our last show, and I think was, it, I think it makes a whole new lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, we, but the question we asked was, um, were we raised to be farmers? Do you, you know, generally speaking, are men being raised to be farmers? And it was a question that came because we asked a question on a previous show with, with some ladies, and we asked where no. are women raised to be wives. I mean, I apologize. Men raised to be fathers. Are we being raised to be husbands? Are we raised to be, are we raised to be fathers? And are women raised to be wives? And are they being raised to be mothers? Because it seems like a lot of folks are trying to figure it out. Yeah, they are trying to figure it out because you know, we we don't basically all say I'm 35, but you're 35. They, 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 oh, we about what? Yeah, don't be yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, don't right. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't all the same age. Right. Me growing up, my, my mother and father got divorced at a very when I was young. Mm-hmm. So you know, I was raised by my mother. So I wasn't raised to be a man. I was raised to be a wife. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was raised by my mother. So I wasn't. I was never taught how to be a husband. Right. Or our father, right? You know, like the majority of my other homeowners, right? So a lot of our people, when we growing up, we ain't not, we not, we the majority of us was raised by single parents, right? So usually the majority of our mothers, right? So we never really had that father, that that hundred percent full time father figure showing us how to be a, how to be a, a father, or how to be a husband, like like um like black always say, you know, we just figure things out as we go along, right? Then the, then the daughters. If their mothers weren't married, how they, they don't know how to be a wife. Because right. they never seen their mama be a wife. Right. And I mean there's yeah. like there's there's so many things that can be missing from it, right? And and um I'm going to uh Dr. Allen Burke, who says who, who said this, he said, um We're all victims of victims, which makes none of us victims, it makes it just the way it is. Mm-hmm. So to so to look at something and like just said earlier, it, it was a fifth, right? So now, it's, we, we know that there, like the last couple of generations, single moms raising children, mm-hmm. right? So we, so with that comes, we don't get to see, we can, um, I'm, not, I'm, trying to, I'm trying not to speak in definite, so, so we get to, we, it, there's an argument there that says, okay, so, the young men and the young women who are raised in single parent households don't know what it's, they have not witnessed their single parent negotiate with the other, with another person in terms of managing a household, right? So sons don't get to see their mama with a man. Daughters don't get to see their mama with a man, right? So that piece is, is missed. So now we're, so now, so now, so now as a man, you're running into a young lady that does not, that hasn't had, had no, she hasn't had any experience with a woman, uh, knowing how a woman works and negotiates with a man for the benefit of the two of them. Right? But at the same time, because you didn't witness your father or your mother, you, you're in the same boat. So now we're actually trying to communicate and we don't even know what language we talk. Right, so now we're back to 
next thing. We all just trying to figure it out. So ain't no right, ain't no wrong. It is what it is. We all trying to figure it out. So now laying laying some groundwork is definitely necessary, but we can't even define what that is. Right? Because you know it's gonna look like like you're building new. Right. We. I mean, I I said. <laughs> I, I, as I said, um, I, a, a child, I, I heard a child say, um, they were in line somewhere, with, a, a child was in line with the, with the mother, and the child said something like, uh, Mama, do we, um, why do women like men to do stuff for them? And the mother said, women don't like men to do stuff for them. And I just thought that was interesting. Because the reason the child actually asked the question, yo, ho, oh, the reason the child actually asked the question was because the mama was on the phone complaining about a man who wasn't doing something that she wanted him to do. <laughs> right? 